Hello, have you ever thought about what it takes to get into veterinary school or trying to apply to veterinary school and looking for what it takes to be a competitive applicant? Well, I'm going to share eight things that I would do today if I was applying for veterinary school. My name is Keith and I'm a fourth year veterinary student at the University of Florida. Number one, the most important part about getting into veterinary school is trying to get experience working with animals. This can be in a veterinary field or any other setting with animals. It's gonna give you valuable insight into the field. Not only is it gonna help you out that way, it's also going to put you in touch with some veterinarians that may be crucial for writing letters of recommendation when the time comes. Now, another part to think about is to consider, is veterinary medicine right for you? Veterinary school is a huge commitment. It's a commitment of time. It's a commitment of money. At times, it's a commitment of your soul. So it should not be taken lightly. You should go experience what it's like to be a veterinarian, see what they do every day, and see if that's something that you wanna do with the rest of your life. It can be daunting trying to get experience, especially if you're starting from not having much at all. If I was just starting off, some things that I would try to do would be to contact my local animal shelters for volunteer opportunities, as well as contact any local clinics. A lot of clinics are understaffed and just looking for a hand. If you show up enthusiastic, ready to learn and ready to help out, there are many places that would love to have you. So go look on Google Maps, try and find some clinics in your local area and send them an email or even better, show up in person with a copy of your resume. Number two, and this is following your passions. Now this does not necessarily mean your passion for veterinary medicine. Being passionate for veterinary medicine and loving animals is nearly what every applicant is gonna have. I'm talking about passions outside of veterinary medicine that will make you stand out and diversify your experience, make you more of an individual and more likely to get accepted. And this means don't be afraid to try other things. Follow whatever you think you're interested. If it's dancing, if it's theater, if it's travel, if it's writing, or even if it's video games. And whatever you're interested in, try and be active in that. Try and take a role, try and be a leader, Number three is participating in research. Now, participating in research is an easy way to get to know some of your undergrad professors. And these professors may be vital to your application in writing letters of recommendation for you. Not only does this help you get these letters of recommendation, it also helps you diversify your application and show that you have interest in contributing to the field. In order to do this, it's pretty simple. You can either email your professor, or better yet, after class, go up to them, tell them how you like the material, and ask if they have any ongoing projects that you can be a part of. Number four is trying to be a TA or a mentor for other students. This is going to help you to network with some of those professors that I talked about that can write these letters for you, as well as other students. This is going to help with your leadership skills and experience. Being a vet means being a leader. As you progress into this next level of education, the vets are the one in charge of the animal and the responsibility of the clinic. By getting some experience early and gaining these skills, you're starting to show the veterinary application board that you have what it takes to take that next step in your career. A quote by Winston Churchill says, we make a living by what we get but we make a life by what we give. And this highlights the profound happiness and fulfillment in life that you can get from helping others. So becoming a mentor for other students, it's going to show the veterinary application board that you're willing to contribute and that you're motivated to help others. Number five is maintaining the best GPA that you can. Now GPA, it's an easy way for them to just take a huge group of applicants and just focus on the ones that have the best GPA. Some schools use this in just trying to deal with the mass amount of applications that they do. Not to discourage anybody that doesn't have a great GPA or just isn't the great, isn't the best at taking tests. You can still get into veterinary school. You just have to focus on some of these other things that I've talked about. Some tips to get the best GPA that you can is to have a plan to make sure you're not overloaded with classes in one semester, and then to look at the syllabus of each class before it starts 
and see which assignments have the highest rank, highest impact on your grade. And be sure to plan adequate time to study and do these assignments. For me, I really had to make it an effort to put in a little bit each day. I was not able to cram like some of the other students that I saw. So by learning the way that I learned best, I was able to get the grades that got me into vet school. Number six, get involved with a club or activity. Now, there's usually a pre-veterinary or pre-medical society at your school, and this is a great thing to start off volunteering at, going to the meetings, get yourself involved, try and work your way up to a position Either you can be the president, the vice president, the treasurer, fundraising chair, whatever it is, just get yourself involved. This is going to show leadership as well as enthusiasm for being in a community and helping others. Now these clubs and activities don't necessarily have to be related to veterinary medicine. Like I said before, you're looking for something to diversify you. So try something new, go with what you love, whether it's salsa dancing, whether it's theater, whether it's exotic animals or conservation, billiards, pickleball, ultimate frisbee, do something that you love to do. Number seven, don't be afraid to try out other things. Now, when I was in undergrad, I was working as a technician, as a veterinary technician, but I quit my job and I thought about being a human medical doctor for a little bit. So then I started volunteering in a human hospital, but I quickly learned that I wasn't as happy as I was in a veterinary hospital. And when I thought about my future, I just had a better feeling that veterinary medicine was for me and that I'd be happier and can contribute more in that way. I still like the idea of helping people, but I learned that in veterinary medicine, I can help people by helping what they care for a lot in their lives and that's their animals. Now, taking the time to look at other things is not going to hurt your application. It might even help. It'll show people that you've thought of all the options but yet still have come back to veterinary medicine and are more dedicated than before. Number eight, take time to enjoy life. I'm sure you've heard people say that life goes by fast, but honestly, if you have any opportunity to enjoy yourself, please take it. Whether this is trying new clubs, trying new things, spending time with important relationships. By doing things that you like to do and enjoying yourself, you're gonna give yourself energy and this is gonna turn into motivation and can help you to achieve your goals. Overall, number one thing is to try and gain experience. Start working with animals wherever you can. Number two, you wanna try and follow your passions. Even if they're different from veterinary medicine, you want to try and look for ways to diversify yourself and be an individual to the people looking at your application. You can try to do some research with some of your undergrad professors. You can also try and mentor or TA for a class that you really like. Try and get involved with whatever you're doing, whether that means applying to be president, vice president, treasurer, or it means to organize a sporting event that you can play in your time off. Maintaining a good GPA is important, but it's not necessarily vital. If you can't, just focus on those other things. And last but not least, make sure to take time to enjoy yourself. So those are my top eight things that I would be doing if I was trying to get into veterinary school today. Remember, it's important to be well-rounded and to show your passions and commitment. Good luck, and please feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions about my journey or tips. And thank you for watching the video. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next video.